Hello, dear friends. This is Dean Sanjeev Kagram from the Thunderbird School of Global Management, speaking to you on my weekly address from our downtown headquarters here in Phoenix. Today, I want to talk to you about our curriculum transformation and the great new programs we're developing for future T-Birds in the 21st century. You'll see this wonderful diagram, our triangle diagram, that explains much of this. But the first thing I want to say to you is you don't need to know all the details when you're recruiting new students out there in the world, which we very much hope and ask you to do. All you have to do is share your wonderful experience that you had here at the Thunderbird School, because that's exactly the experience that students here are getting today and will for the next 70 years of the Thunderbird School. Let me start with our undergraduate program. Many of you may not know that we have an undergraduate program. We did when we were first founded in 1946. When we joined Arizona State University, we launched a bachelor's in global management. Now, some of you might wonder why we do an undergraduate program. What I'd say to you is come and meet some of these underbirds, as we call them. They are T-birds in every way. And if you, like me, are a parent of a young person, teenager or in their 20s or even younger, you know that these young people are as smart, as fast, as sharp, entrepreneurial, and as global as we were much later in life. So we have 200 underbirds in the Bachelor's in Global Management, and we've just launched the Bachelor's of Science in International Trade. These are amazing programs. We have students from over 25 countries around the world. They are full of the Thunderbird mystique, uh, and you'd love to meet them if you ever get a chance. And if you have opportunities for internships or employment, Trust me, you want them on your team. The next level up is our revamped and transformed Master's in Global Management uh, degree. That's, of course, our core degree. Many of you got the Master's in International Management way back at, before we transformed into the MBA. We really think of the MGM as the master, professional master's degree, business degree for the fourth industrial revolution in the 21st century. What we've done with the MGM is several fold. We started with applied learning. Many of you know about our Thunderbird Emerging Market Labs, six credit hours where students work in teams, working with a client in a real world experience, uh, whether that's a company moving into a new market with a new product, figuring out its global supply chains, uh, introducing blockchain or uh, the Internet of Things, whatever it might be. Around that tremendous applied learning experience, which we are now making mandatory a Thunderbird Emerging Market Lab or a Thunderbird Advanced Market Lab for our students from emerging markets who may want to experience in the United States, Canada, Japan, Europe, we have added a one-credit professional development uh, requirement. In that one-credit professional development requirement, we're asking each alum, uh, all alums, to mentor one of these students so that every student has an alumni mentor from the beginning of their uh, time with us all the way to graduation to help them uh, become more professional, identify their goals, career goals, get internships, and ultimately amazing employment or start up their own new enterprise. After that, we have 18 credits of our global core. Uh, this is very much the kinds of courses you took and loved when you were here, global strategy, global finance and accounting, global marketing, um, and so forth. Uh, uh, cross-cultural negotiations, uh, global mindset. Uh, the only new thing, and, well, and a very important new thing, is that we are infusing it with 21st century content. New cases, increased focus, again, on the fourth industrial revolution all the way to the bottom of the pyramid and sustainable business, the circular economy, the gig economy. So that global core is truly the, still the heart and soul of the degree. And then we have reintroduced languages, as you all know, if students don't come in with a second language, then they will have opportunities to do that uh, language here on campus, both in analog form, that is to say classrooms and other training, as well as increasingly in digital forms using uh, augmented reality, virtual reality, um, uh, equipment to learn languages, as well as immersive language uh, experiences linked to those Thunderbird Emerging Market and Advanced Market Labs. After that, each student will be able to do a, develop a concentration in a key area uh, of global business, global affairs, global entrepreneurship that they want to make theirs, their expertise, their experience, what they offer to the marketplace and the world. What we have now is a, a set of concentrations around global business, uh, the typical ones that we always do, again, with new content, global marketing, global strategy, uh, global finance. 
um, concentration in global affairs for those students who want to go on perhaps to the uh, international nonprofit or into the public sector. Uh, global entrepreneurship for those students who may want to start their own uh, enterprises or companies. And global digital trans transformation for those students who want to dig deeper even more so into the fourth industrial revolution, new technologies uh, that are transforming our world. In addition to that, we have developed more than 10 other concentrations with our sister schools across ASU in global sustainability, in global supply chain, uh, in global law, in global policy, um, global communications, global health uh, care, for the students who may be interested in those areas. And what's exciting is that students can do two concentrations uh, with their 24 credits um, beyond the global core, or they can dig deep into just a single concentration with some electives. We believe this integrated uh, master's in global management, which is now 49 credits over four semesters, although there's an accelerated one for students with greater levels of experience, is truly uh, the vanguard of the vanguard degree uh, in terms of uh, global leadership management for the 21st century. There's much more to say about that degree, but again, you don't know, need to know all the details. You certainly can call us up, email us if you want to know more, but just share with prospective students what a fantastic place Thunderbird is, uh, how it's still very much the same that it was when you came, and that now the offering that we've put together is truly uh, on the frontier of global management education. I will say that this past weekend, we had our first uh, premier weekend pr where perspectives from around, around the country and world came. We had over 150 people here in downtown Phoenix, prospective students, and I can tell you the energy was amazing. It was connected to our first regional night, which was on Latin America, where our current students did a fabulous job um, uh, really bringing forward that incredible part of our heritage, uh, music, food, culture, and joy that is so much part of the Thunderbird community. Let me now quickly uh, add the rest of our uh, curriculum transformation so you have a sense. Uh, in uh, short order, we will be uh, relaunching um, an executive master's in global affairs and management in DC. Uh, it'll be a one-year degree for uh, uh, professionals who have had eight plus years of experience, five to eight plus years of experience. Um, we believe that this is a degree that really uh, will be very exciting for uh, folks in the DC market and greater DC market. It's obviously connected to this very important global hub in today's world. And particularly, it will allow students to, who uh, uh, I'm sorry, professionals who are moving from the public sector into the private sector to get the global business skills and uh, technology uh, knowledge that they should have to enter uh, into the 21st uh, global industry that they might be interested in. in June, August, uh, between June and August of uh, 2020, we will be launching uh, with our sister school, the Herberger Institute of Arts uh, and Design, a new MGM, the Masters in Executive Masters in Global Management in the global creative industry in Los Angeles. As you may have heard, uh, ASU, along with Thunderbird, has uh, acquired a new building in downtown L LA. It's a beautiful building, um, the Herald Examiner building, and we'll be launching that program uh, in, that, in the summer, uh, our summer here in, in North America um, in, in August 2020, and we're very excited about that. Finally, at the top of the pyramid is our executive uh, management degrees for uh, professionals with even 10 or 12 uh, more years of experience. We have our sort of bread and butter executive master's in global management degree where uh, students come for uh, a number of weekends over the course of 18 months. Uh, it's based here in Phoenix. Uh, there are uh, field experiences, but it's really for the business professional who wants to get an advanced degree, a particularly advanced global business management leadership degree. And finally, let me introduce uh, a degree that we're very, very excited about. It's the new executive master's in global leadership and strategy. This degree is going to be a very intimate degree for about 20 to 25 uh, professionals who are headed to the C-suite or equ equivalent, really rising stars within their companies and their sectors and their industries. Um, the degree will be take place in five to six immersive eight-day sessions in different global hubs around the world. The first one will be a joint uh, session between Phoenix and Los Angeles. After that, Geneva, Shanghai, uh, somewhere in India, probably Mumbai or Bangalore, 
um, Sao Paulo, uh, and then uh, potentially in the future, uh, a hub in Africa. The idea here is that we're going to be flipping the classroom. Uh, the participants uh, in this cohort will be able to engage in those regional business environments, engage with companies, stakeholders, um, uh, folks from the region, really understand what it means to do global business leadership management around the world, work in team projects together, and develop uh, a leadership plan uh, uh, for themselves for the next phase of their career. This exciting program will be launched in January 2020 and take place across a year uh, through December. Uh, it'll be 30 credits, uh, and it's really going to be one of a kind. I won't say much more about the degrees, but I, what I want to say most importantly is we want you to be proud in what we're doing. And we believe that we've put together the faculty, students, staff, our partners across ASU, and through your many inputs, uh, now a, a set of degrees that really befit the heritage, the tradition, um, the, the power of Thunderbird as a brand, as a community, as an educational institution. Uh, we want you to know that we're not only, as I said, surviving, but we're thriving again. And we need, you to, we need your help in recruiting great students uh, and professionals to be, take part in these degrees. Of course, in future video addresses, I'll talk a little bit about our online programs as well as our executive education programs. But let me leave it there. Have a wonderful rest of the week, and I'll see you next week. All my best.